All right, well, I'm a little hungover today, so I'm gonna see how well this goes. Let me see if I can get that guy out. Got that. on there solid. Oh uh, yeah, that little bastard came right out. And I don't mean the bearing. <laughs> okay. So, running into some technical difficulties. We're going to try something a little different here. And, um, try and keep them all equal there. These washers are about the right size. Let's see. This has to be there we go, so that kind of lines up to that. Out there. In case you want to see a close up, so um, kind of lining this socket up, it's the right size to brace against that opening. So, oh, looky, looky. That yeah, most definitely is pushing it through. That. be enough for the proper tool to do its job. Alright. Is it enough? Alright. Well, that annoyance is solved. Threaded rod, some bolts, and just tighten them down until it pops, and you'll see it go through. The washers will probably go through as well, or they better. Um, if you've sanded them a little bit, they won't stick as bad, but they are a hell of a lot easier to pop out because you can go through and they have a surface that you can tap out with something, and you're good to go. Um, again, sand them down and you might be okay to continue doing it that way. I was a little nervous that they were still a little bit uh, friction fit, so um, I pulled them out and gave it another attempt with the uh, slide hammer um, once it was about halfway through and it did work. So there you have it. Now, next trick is pressing one back in and I have a feeling I can probably use the same method. Yeah, I know. I should probably be using uh, gloves. Okay. One new needle bearing. Here's the oil seal that you would replace if you have a leak coming out here. And I'm replacing because this bike's just, it's an old bike that's been sitting. So get that in there, spring inside, get it straight. And see, I'm not sure if I can press this in by hand, but I can at least. So 
we've got um, our seal, our oil seal in, so we're going to go ahead and put in the uh, shaft and twist them through. Now you might have to kind of twist them a little, getting through here. There you go. Oh, forget there's a gear. Goes through there. All right. And we have washer that goes here and we have a new e-clip you can always avoid reusing the old e-clip there's no point in that if you can get another one and that goes in here okay and i've already done it a couple times but just show you here just kind of clean out in there with a q-tip you might as well so you can see Now the next step you want to, well, first I should say, depending on what bike you have, you want to keep these in order. On mine it's a 750, I don't have to worry about it, but on something like the XJ550s, um, they do have a specific order they need to be in, there might even be a different number of these, and you'll notice on the metal plates that there will be a uh, tab that sticks out and those have to go back on the bike in a certain order but for my purposes on the XJ750 these are all pretty universal so I'm going to separate these out and I'm going to check to make sure that they haven't warped and that they haven't burnt I can already tell you they haven't burnt you would see you would see kind of like bluing or something on there and I'm not sure if you can really see it in this light but these are pretty good and clean and I probably just need to go and take a little bit of scotch bright to them kind of non-directionally uh, scuff them up just to give them a better uh, attachment but what you do want to do is get them on a flat piece of um, anything that's good and flat. This is a piece of glass I put, took out of a picture frame. And um, take uh, oh. slides under. And pretty good, just in case I'm going to try a thinner one. So, also notice that there's the sharp edge and there's a curved edge. And you should put the sharp edge out away from the engine. Uh, I believe it just kind of lessens any wear because um, that edge, you never know, a little burr and it suddenly cuts into things where it's pressing in. So, you want the side that's got a little bit of a curve to it against the engine side. Really, I don't think it matters. Just make sure all the plates are facing the same way. Sharp in, sharp out, whichever. And then there's, hopefully you've replaced that. Let's set those aside. And this surface here we're going to clean up a little bit. Okay. <clears throat> On the offhand chance, sometimes this might be gone, but it is needed. It's for uh, deflecting the oil and it goes back down. So you can see there's a little bit of a clip area. And if you look underneath, you'll see where it attaches. So if you have to get a new one or put one back in, if it comes loose, whatever. That is how that pops in. There you go. All right. So let's, let's start putting things back together. All of my um, new parts soaking in oil here. 
springs, I've got the new plates, I've even got this. Um, I'd probably dip a couple of parts in here and we'll start putting it back on. First, obviously, I want to get some gloves on. And you pull the first one out. And he goes in. Like so. Alright. And now a plate. Remember that you want the sharp edge out and the rounded side in, and this goes on. Now, as I'm doing this, I'll point out that on the XJ7 or XJ550s, this is a 750, on the 550s, there'll be a tab on these metal plates. And the best way to do this is if you get this kind of lined up, um, then you put one where the tab goes up right lined up to this one pretty much and then put on one of your friction pieces and then another metal plate and that one make the tab point here right and then the next one the tab is here just keep lining them up to here and next one the tab here and i think there's probably the last one tab here um i believe that'll give you kind of a general idea of how to put those back on so each one you rotate a certain number of degrees but I have the luxury of an XJ750 where each and every one of these is the same. So I put this guy on. Again, whichever way the sharp side is facing, make all plates face the same way for consistent plate action. Basically, the clutch pad is on both sides, so the inside-outside argument, it's kind of irrelevant. Okay, there's that. And that goes there. And this. Goes through. Maybe be a little more patient than and me. Wait for the spray adhesive to get more tacky. You know, so it sticks. <laughs> that goes so. Almost forgot to point something pretty important out. Um, you'll notice there's a dot right here. And if you look, there's a dot here. Right? Not these larger ones, but the smaller ones. That is where this needs to line up when you put this on. So that goes like so. Okay, now we put the springs on. New springs, if you can, I would always suggest you put new springs on. Again, put them in a little bit of oil before you go through. Okay. Also, you want to get new bolts and washers. Um, you might be tempted to think that, um, screw it, I can use the old ones, they're perfectly fine. But that's a really good way to find out, either as you're putting them back down or the next time you take it off, that a bolt snaps. And that's no fun because it's been in there for 30 years under heat and pressure because of the friction in here. So always replace the bolt and washer that goes there. Okay, so these we want torqued to 7.2 pounds, so got my adapter on here for that, and it is set to 5, 6, 7. Tighten that down. I suspect I might already be at 7, but we'll see. Next up, we're going to spray the gasket here, and let that set for a few minutes, and then put it on the cover. So before 
putting this back on, make sure things are clean here because oil might drip out. Put this peg in here. There's that, there's the other one. And let's hope this stinks. No, it's going to be tricky because you've got this gear that needs to fit in there correctly. So it might fight you a little bit on the way. So there's your two positioning rods or holes, whatever you want to call them. And get in there and look. Nope, nope, nope. Remember when you tighten these down, right now I'm just getting them to snug and I'm going across in a star pattern so that everything tightens down smoothly. There's a washer, it's supposed to go right there, right against the oil seal, right? And then spring goes on like so. And there's a little hole here, that's where that goes. And here, so you've got this mark, if you were wondering what that was for. This, make sure this is the right side, there we go. You can tell because it says up. And I put a couple of marker marks on here but there's also a little mark right there so you can tell that lines up with this so my cable is fighting me a little bit okay that goes there let's get my spring up there on that and now another thing you should always replace with new ones is your e clips, your C clips, and that kind of stuff. So I think I've got that in far enough. Push. I have pliers. I don't have pliers, maybe this will help. There we go. Alright. <laughs> 